Coming Home is a project that sees portraits of iconic individuals from the National Portrait Gallery's collection in London travel to places across the UK that have a really strong connection to these individuals. And the project really aims to give people the opportunity to celebrate and rediscover their local heroes. The project will work in particular with young people and families to really explore questions around home from their own perspectives, but also through considering what home meant for the sitters in the portraits on display. Film directors, you know, work behind the scenes, unlike the actors, and this commission wanted to put them and their incredible contributions to British culture and life really in the spotlight. Through this commission, the usual relationship between directors and the audience has become inverted. So in a way, they now become the object of our gaze. Another key aim was to commission an artist to create portrait drawings. Drawing is a thriving area of artistic practice for contemporary artists, and we wanted our collections to better reflect this. So Nina May Fowler's portrait of Sir Scott shows the director watching a scene from the film that was a major turning point for him and his relationship to cinema. His face is lit only by the screen of the film that was being projected during the portrait sitting. And I think that Fowler's really captured this moment of revelation in the portrait as he sort of emerges out of the darkness in the drawing. So Ridley Scott actually said that he was not keen at all on sitting for a portrait as he really dislikes being photographed. But Nina persevered and explained her technique to him and really won him over. The drawing, I think, is, is very small and intimate in scale. So the work really draws the viewer into the mind of this great cinematic luminary and really conveys the inspiration that he would have felt when watching this film. And so although the director's film choices were not revealed, we don't know what they're watching. We sort of get intimate and up and close with the drawings and we search for clues in their faces and reactions as to what they are watching. We've displayed Nina Mae Fowler's portrait within our exhibition 100 Years of Collecting, which stretches over two of our main galleries. The portrait's displayed in Gallery C, which holds most of the modern and contemporary works, but it's positioned opposite the apocalyptic works of artist John Martin, because we wanted it to really have a relationship and a, and a talking point and a dialogue between those works. John Martin's artworks are cinematic. He intended them to be viewed as an experience back in a time where there are no films and no cinema. And they're dramatic and they have a theatrical quality. So this really was an experience for people of that time to go and see these works. We know that John Martin's work influenced filmmaker and special effects artist Ray Harryhausen in films such as Jason and the Argonauts and Clash of the Titans. And then they will have influenced future filmmakers. John Martin took inspiration for his work from his local landscape of Hayden Bridge, his hometown. And we know that Ridley Scott also has been influenced by the industrial landscapes of the Northeast and especially Teesside. In 2003 interview, Ridley Scott had said that he had very fond memories of the Northeast. So we were delighted to be able to bring the portrait of him back to the Northeast and to the Ling Art Gallery.